I just slept. Hello, buddy. You want to say hi? I just slept the hardest I've ever slept in like my life, probably. Oh, buddy, hi. It was so weird. I slept. Um, I fell asleep at like. Oh, that wasn't even filming me. I fell asleep at like midnight. And all of a sudden, I was like dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. And then I had a dream that my mom came in and said Bella got out. And so I shot up and it was 9 a.m. No. And it was so weird. Buddy, you're just so invasive of my personal space. So it was just so weird. That is the longest I have slept in so long and the hardest I've slept. And it was so nice not to wake up three or four or five, ten, fifteen times through the middle of the night. And it was also nice not to wake up at 6 a.m. with a baby. But I miss her so much. Like, Jake and Chris are supposed to have her a little bit longer today, but... Oh my god, I miss her. So, I'm gonna go get her. Uh, my life seriously feels so empty. Like, I can't imagine, like, not having her. Because, oh, buddy. Hi, buddy. Do you just want to come lay here? I feel like I should be doing something. Or I feel like I should be helping with her with something. Or I feel like I should be feeding her. Or putting her down for a nap. Or, you know, like, things like that. And it's so weird to not do any of it. And I seriously miss it. Thank you. <laughs> she like just keeps looking at my phone and like, what is that? Well, we couldn't get pictures because like she would laugh and giggle and then we whip our phone out and then she would just like frown. So it is 10 10 <clears throat> and I just jumped out of the shower and I told Chris I wasn't going to be at her house till noon. But now I miss Lincoln so much, so I think I might just go. It does take me half an hour to get into town, so I'm not like two hours early, but it'll be an hour and a half early. But I just miss her so much. So for my nutrition class in college, I have to keep track of all my activities and things I eat for three whole days. And these haven't been my best three days. I have either stayed up late, so I've taken like naps in the middle of the day, and my meals consist of things like this. So, not doing too hot so far. Today is my last day. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna like read off some of the things I've eaten because it's kind of a joke. Half a bag of gummy worms, half a cafe Rio salad, which isn't really a salad. Dr. Pepper, popcorn, the rest of the gummy worms. Another Dr. Pepper, another Dr. Pepper, another Dr. Pepper. Pepsi, pizza, and my lovely breakfast for the day, cookie dough, and Dr. Pepper. So I went to go pick up Lincoln from Kristen's house and they said they were going to a car show in Mesquite. So I decided to join them. And we have Jake and Chris and Carson and Rebecca. Hello. And Lincoln. And Lincoln. Hi, baby. It's a little cold, so we have to bundle her up pretty bad. <laughs> That's not too bad. She's like in clothes and socks and a blanket and a headband and hopefully it'll help. But we decided to come to this car show because it's only like 30 minutes from us.
even care for his car show. Not so much. Daddy would be so proud. It's definitely nap time for her though, so it's not going well. Huh? Uh, no, he just wants to. He wants to. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love your puppy? Ding? Oh gosh! No, no, no. <laughs> Just a wide open mouth kiss. Good job, buddy. You're being so sweet. <laughs> We're talking about between four and five minutes. Oh. <laughs> Bella wants nothing to do with you, Mark. I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you so sweet? <laughs> so, definitely forgot to end the vlog last night. Sat up really late doing homework, even though I said I was going to go to bed. But, anyway, good night. Morning guys, so I just loaded up my entire car with stuff through Lincoln all the way back there and then I realized they were taking my mom's car instead of my car. So I'm gonna have to move it all from this car to that car, which sucks because I just literally just finished packing it off. But she's going out Christmas tonight, so she have all her stuff. So now I have my mom's car all packed up and we're at Costco and I totally forgot that the car was full and we bought stuff. So now there's no room to put anything in here. 